like the powers that be in U.S. soccer are serious about closing the gap between the men's and the women's teams? Well, they, they have to be. Uh, at the bottom line, the women's team is now making them money. It's a non-profit organization. And it's Sunil Gulati's job to make sure that he keeps pushing the envelope. He knows that he's a leader as it pertains to women in soccer around the world. And, and I do trust him that he wants to keep pushing that envelope, pushing the needle to a more equal and more just pay, pay scale uh, that reflects the, the popularity of this team. And if, if, if the team can come home with gold, uh, this next summer, which is what I expect, um, then the girls will have such an amazing leverage uh, and, and negotiating power in, in order to get even better contracts uh, and ev even better coverage and, and maybe, maybe a 401k. That would be amazing for them, you know, because I don't have one. That's why I'm doing this stuff. I need, I need to do this stuff because I, I didn't get any 401k. U.S. Soccer just released their budget. They called the women's national team a cash cow. There's a $20 million surplus. It's crazy. And, you know, most people would look at you and see your success on the soccer field, the World Cup victories, the gold medals, and they would think that you have it all. You just told us you don't have a 401k. Is that the one time in your life when you feel like you've been discriminated against or have there been other instances? Once I retired and kind of turned the chapter on my soccer career and I look back, proud of all my accomplishments, but I got a little angry, to be quite honest, because I look at my counterparts, I look across the aisle, and I see people who've won FIFA World Player of the Year on the men's side, um, people who have never even played in Europe that are playing here in the United States that won't ever have to worry about working a day of their life because they're making that much money, and it's because they're a man. And I got a little angry, and so I'm making it my mission for the rest of my life. True equality is what I'm after, and it's not just in sports either. I want to go to the big businesses and change the world.